Terminator Salvation. Uh, got a couple problems going on with this. Uh, player 2 gun doesn't work, and I'm pretty sure it's just this cable that's broken. Uh, probably not very interesting to fix uh, for camera, but I'll take it apart and I'll show you the inside I've got. The other thing that's going on is it doesn't seem to be tracking very well uh, to the right side. So how these guns work is in the very tip of the gun, there's a, a infrared receiver here. On top of the uh, on top of the screen, uh, kind of right along here, there are two rows of infrared transmitters, and there's one, two, three, four, five. There's ten of them, and each little module has three infrared transmitters, but they don't all fire. And I'll show you this. We can look at it through a camera. You can probably see it through this camera, but I'll use my phone camera to kind of show you how I'm looking at them. But uh, I think what's going on is that the ones, I actually, let me back up. There's three uh, infrared transmitters, and but not all three fire. So maybe the, the far left one will fire and the middle one, and then on the next one, only one will fire. On the next one, two fire or something like that. There is information that you can get for uh, one of the Terminator Salvations. I think it's the it's a it's a bigger one, and I think that there's 12 of the the transmitters. This one only has 10, so I don't know what the pattern is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the face places off, and we're gonna we're gonna look and see which ones are firing, and. Uh, I'll mark it on the boards themselves, and then um, I'll mark it uh, somewhere on the on the thing with just some tape or something. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap a few of them around and see if I can get other uh, ones to fire. And I do have replacement ones I can swap in, but I think I can fix this just by swapping boards around because I think what's happening is that of these three that are firing. One has been firing this whole time, it's gotten tired and burned down or something. And so, uh, but you have another one where maybe this one isn't working. That's the idea. So let's, uh, let's try this and see if it works. These are the modules and I've already marked down uh, which one is firing. So on number 10 here, um, left, middle are firing, right is not. And if we look at the camera, uh, you can kind of see them there, hopefully. This one over here, you can kind of see, you can see uh, just the left one is firing. And those look really weak, actually. This one looks a little bit better. So, uh, let's see if we can solve this. I've marked down on the tape here, but I'm actually gonna mark down on these. I've, I've labeled them 10, nine, eight, etc. cetera. Um, so I'm gonna mark down on these boards just with little dots on which ones are firing. It doesn't look like any of the right ones are firing. And I don't know if they're supposed to, so. These two look really weak though. So let's, um, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap this one with one of the ones over there and let's see if that makes any change to how this thing tracks. This is in the gun, gun camera test. So if you look at that screen, you can see the, the emitters that it can see, right? But it doesn't correspond with what's going on up there. It's actually upside down, which is interesting. So if I flip this gun around and get it aimed in here somewhere, there we go. <laughs> this is 
not working very well. <laughs> Holding a camera whilst doing this. All right, there we go. So that actually corresponds with what's going on up there. The, on the left-hand side, there's only one emitter each up there. And then I can move this out of the way. Uh, center, at the top there's one. Uh, center, bottom, there's two, et cetera, et cetera. So one thing that I did notice is that I've already swapped the one. So I've swapped 10 with six, uh, and it's already tracking better. But I, I have number five up there, I've noticed that one of the LEDs on the emitter there, when I'm doing the camera test, one of them is blinking on and off, which I assume just means that it's, maybe it's being, yeah, there it goes. Oh, I'm sorry, in the way. See how that's kind of freaking out there? So let's swap that one. Let me see if I can figure out if it's, which one is freaking out. That's on number five. Uh, hold please. Okay, so with the test, it looks like this one, number five, is being a little flaky with the two. I think I'm gonna move this one over to number three because that one only has one emitter and let's see if that makes a difference. Um, I swapped 10 and six and already it's tracking better on this side. So I think that this might be our culprit now. I think if I can get some combination of those working, I think that we'll be okay. All right, so I swapped five and three. Now. Th Five was firing two, and three was firing one, but look at this. That one, three is actually supposed to be firing two, I guess. And five is probably supposed to be firing two. So let's move some stuff around again. Let's move, uh, so we need two on, on five, but that's only firing this one. You, don't, you can't even see what I'm pointing at. Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> Uh, it's only firing the far right one, or the far left one. So let's move this module over to two, and let's see how that works. Hey, look at this. Kid Nikki, Radical Ninja. Go on, be radical. Oh, I'm not so radical. All right, so that, uh, that seemed to fix the issue that I had over there. The tracking is much better. There's still a little, I like the little soundtrack in the background. A little eight bit soundtrack for me. Uh, there's a little section up in the very top right that seems to be sort of a dead zone. Um, so some of those little uh, transmitters don't seem to be firing really bright. Some are brighter than the other. So I think maybe what I'll do next is it doesn't seem to be on any of the modules, it doesn't seem to be using the far right uh, infrared diode. So what I might do that is uh, pop one of those off and move it over to one of the diodes that is being used, because that would, if it's never using it, then it would be kind of a fresh one. Um, and they're the exact same ones that are in the system. I have some IR diodes, but I don't know if they're the same uh, specifications. 
So uh, that was kind of a last ditch effort, but I think that's what I'm going to do next. But for right now, it's it's as you can see, it's super playable. Uh, it seems to be working. So this is this is the information that I got from uh, the the manual on a Terminator Salvation, but a slightly different size. Uh, and this is the format. These these are the ones that should be firing. But I can't find that documentation for this one. I guess I could email them, but I haven't. Um, so moving stuff around, this is the configuration that I got going on mine right now, and it seems to be working okay. Um, if you have one of these and it's tracking beautifully, um, let me know in the comments. Uh, take take a phone out, go around. If, if you start at the, the, top, uh, the top left as one, count across to five, the bottom left one would be six, count across to 10, and just let me know in the comments, like one is two, and two is one, and three is two, and so on and so forth. We can try and get this uh, figured out. Anyway, that's about it. That's all I had to say. Uh, a little, little different from uh, pinball stuff, a little video stuff. And I'm getting more video stuff, so you might see a few more of these. All right, that's it. I have customers coming.